the context for First Sight and the way that First Sight works with young people is very specific to where we find ourselves and in the history of First Sight, but also in terms of the context of Colchester. And so um, I think circuits come along just at the right time in terms of enabling young people to start to change the broader community's perception of them and that's through really positive uh, contributions to our program to a kind of public uh, facing uh, program where um, the audience sees the potential for young people not as uh, a menace to society but actually as a, the next generation of creatives, of artists, of uh, dancers, performers, uh, etc. We were really excited by the Winter Gathering that was an event that brought together our Flow Group and Limitless Group, which are two youth-led uh, programs that we deliver through Circuit. Uh, and they, we brought them together on December the 21st on the uh, winter solstice and basically provided an amazing experience for um, a, a very broad audience just here in the um, garden outside First Sight. Um, and that meant that uh, they had a real sense of value, I suppose. They weren't just speaking to their peers they were actually speaking and being appreciated by adults and younger uh, children alike. First Sight has a history of working with young people, but I think what the difference that Circuit has brought is actually bringing young people in perhaps more consistently. It's been en enabling us to expand our peer Kind of groups. Importantly, uh, we uh, took the decision that we would employ some of those young people to work with their peers. And actually, so a source of employment, a source of potentially encouraging um, enterprise within young people um, is something that has definitely taken a step forward. And I think this notion that we have peer programmed activity open to the public where we um, really value their contribution in a very visible public way is again an, an, a new step for us. Again, Circuit has enabled us to develop partnerships outside of the organisation. So yes, clearly it's had an impact and a visible impact internally but it's also uh, enabled us to have conversations with a range of different partners, including the Youth Service, and with the Yak Shack, which is a Young Art Community Shack at uh, the waiting room. We're working in a kind of tr triple uh, partnership with the waiting room, the Youth Service, and First Sight, offering opportunities for young people to occupy what they often see as a, an adult space. It's a kind of bar, it's a grown-up space. It's not just an education studio in a gallery. It's not just a space for young people. It's actually an adult space situated in the community. Um, and again, that's about giving them confidence to express themselves that they are active members of society rather than uh, something that is sometimes kind of confined to an activity space. I think uh, there's some really interesting things coming forward, I think, in, in Circuit. One is, uh, I've mentioned this kind of enterprise aspect, because I do think that actually there's an opportunity perhaps to work with young people, nurture uh, their skills, but also nurture their kind of confidence and maybe business acumen, to actually then set themselves up as freelancers freelancers themselves and actually then pursue a career within uh, the arts independently. That's a really important strand I think in terms of legacy and uh, providing progression and pathways for young people. 
Um, I think also, though, that the festival that we'll be uh, programming next summer is another way in which we're really wanting to uh, provide an opportunity across the building in all of the outside spaces to really have a real impact in terms of uh, the, the, the general visitor and it's about mainstreaming our work with uh, young people uh, as a significant strand within our program and that's something that we're wanting maybe to rather than just have one a one-off festival actually really think about well what is um, a sustainable uh, level of providing that opportunity uh, to celebrate our work with young people um, on a kind of annual basis because I think uh, it's all well and good having uh, a one-off festival raising everybody's expectation and then what happens afterwards what happens when the funding finishes what happens when the project finishes Young people don't get the best press in the world, and certainly in Colchester, um, and maybe you could say, particularly around First Sight, around the surrounding area, there has been some media about job menace at First Sight and things like that. So the opportunity for young people to program events, program exhibitions, to actually play back to the community, okay, this is what young people are really about. It's about expressing themselves, it's about developing their skills, developing their confidence. Uh, it's not just about uh, the, the menace that young people represent.